We decided to start a few minutes late just to give uh, the clinical staff in particular time uh, to get down to the auditorium. Thanks for turning the volume down, Mark. I appreciate that. I'm Anne-Marie Malik, President and CEO of the Centre, and it is my pleasure this morning to welcome everyone to the 12th 12 years, I can hardly believe it, the 12th annual presentation of the President's Awards for Values. And I want to start by saying, what we do matters. That's why today is an ideal time to reflect on our core values and these awards that celebrate them. Our values are indeed the backbone of our strategic plan. And with our mission and vision, have guided us in past years, but will also guide us into future years. These values define our everyday work, ensuring that we help patients realize their potential. So again, what we do matters. We're on a very personal journey with our patients in helping them get their life back. And that, I think, speaks to the core of the values of the Centre. As most of you know, this awards program pays tribute to West Park employees, physicians, and volunteers who live West Park's core values each and every day. The core values of excellence, respect, trust, collaboration, and accountability. Choosing the award recipients is never easy, and I'm glad that I'm not on the selection committee. <laughs> Nominators this year, as with every year, have put together very thoughtful submissions. And the selection committee would like to thank all of the nominators for taking the time and the effort to ensure that employees, physicians, and volunteers are recognized for living West Park's core values. So let's take a moment to give all the nominators a round of applause. want to thank the members of the President's Award for Values Selection Committee for their hard work and dedication to the selection process. And this year's committee included uh, Barbara Bell, who is the past Chief Nurse and Health Professions Officer. As some of you know, Barb's last day was last Friday. Uh, Liliana Catapano, our Chief HR Officer. Ludmilla Fiera, an Occupational Therapist. David Garland, our planner in campus development. Leslie Legrelli, service manager on uh, TV and GFES. And Sharon Miron, manager of volunteer resources and recreation therapy. Also on the committee, Dr. Robert Barati, Ashley Manzon from the foundation, and Ellen Lederman from HR. So thank you all for participating in the selection process and a special thanks to uh, a former recipient and patient representative who participated in the selection process this year, uh, Dolores uh, Gagliardi, uh, who was the winner of the Trust Award last year, 2016, <coughs> and Kathy Tanasco, a patient representative from 3 West Bank. I'd also like to thank Human Resources, public relations, and the environmental services staff who helped this event um, to come to fruition today. And we certainly couldn't do it without the efforts of all of those three uh, departments and many others in the organization. So again, thanks uh, out to those three areas. So getting back to our values. Our values are not just words. They have to resonate throughout the organization and in the communities we serve, and within the relationships that we build with one another as employees, physicians, and volunteers at the Centre. The people we honour today bring these values to life in their everyday work, and they reflect them in their interactions with patients, families, and colleagues alike. 
And this year, we received a variety of nominations made up of both individuals and teams, and I would like to recognize the nominees individually. Nominated this year are Alice Booth, Dr. Chris Vullius, Searing Deckel, Dr. Bullius and uh, Ismail said. 
In 2008, Dr. Chris Bullius and Dr. Farouk Ismail created the West Park Spasticity Clinic. Together with their vision and a dynamic interdisciplinary team, this clinic has now become the largest of its type in Canada. They provide outstanding care in an efficient manner that exceeds expectation. The clinic leads internationally in the use of technology, its interdisciplinary model, clinical innovation, research, teaching, and mentorship. So congratulations to Drs. Ismail and Bullius. Nora, did you want to say anything, or shall I continue? Well, I'm accepting on their behalf. Oh, okay. <laughs> Recipient is 
Emily Waters. <laughs> The Collaboration Award recognizes those who work with others on a common goal, build relationships, encourage a participatory and inclusive work environment, and share knowledge for the benefit of the team and the client. And here's what Emily's nominators said about her. Emily was instrumental in leading the initiative for the 18th annual St. Patrick's Day 5K Run Walk in 2017. Emily collaborated with West Park staff, patients, and the foundation, the uh, Achilles International and individuals in the community to organize and fundraise in support of West Park and Patrick Doyle in this event. And that's our patient Patrick right over mm -hmm. there. <laughs> Emily's hard work and enthusiasm led the way in West Park meeting their fundraising goal. Due to Emily's strong ties to community resources and her innate collaboration skills, she co-organized and co-led Disability in Sports Day at West Park with the Recreation Therapy Department. Emily invited community <coughs> agencies such as the Disabled Sailing Association of Ontario and has facilitated the involvement of many West Park patients in disabled sailing. Congratulations. The next and final value category is accountability. Just find my page here. Uh, the recipient in this category is Laura Forma. Retirement is still a very active member of the programs. The Accountability Award recognizes those who demonstrate integrity and personal credibility, take responsibility for their actions, and are mindful of our human, natural, and material resources. And Laura's nominators had the following to say about Laura in this regard. Laura played an important role in the implementation of resource matching and referral, or RM and R as we know it at West Park. Laura has also provided valuable feedback for many of the changes and revisions to the RM and R and the newer reporting system Orbit as it evolved. Laura's most recent project is the ALC, or Alternate Level of Care, Avoidance Framework Audits. Thanks to the contributions of Laura and her team members, West Park has achieved the best, the best, ALC rate in the province. <laughs> Laura was also responsible for creating a process to implement and sustain the ALC provincial strategy. Congratulations. So now it's time to give all of our recipients a round of applause.